All right. So we've got a three-way uh, motorized valve for Navian NCB combi boiler. It's failed partially open, uh, so it's not getting the proper flow through the domestic side. It's overheating. They're not getting good flow at the faucets, and it's way overshooting set point temperature. So how this goes in is through the bottom of the cabinet. There's two uh, O-ring connections here with clips, and then short wiring harness. Um, got to remove the PCB here and also the circ pump um, in order to access the valve that's back there. So you can see the top of it down in the corner. So here is one good reason why I use the isolation valves on the hot and cold on the heating side because this threads into that. So I'm going to take some pictures as I go, otherwise I'm going to take this video down and get to it. Alright, as you can see there are just a ton of Molex connectors on this board. Step one would be to disconnect the control panel, take it off the board. There's three screws that hold the board on, one on each of these brackets, then one at the top. Also be disconnecting the power from that switch there. Pull it out, set it aside. Now you're getting closer. Now we have to disconnect the research pump in order to access the three-way valve. Okay, so this is coming off the top of the circ pump for the boiler. Uh, connects on the front and bottom of the heat exchanger. There's just the steel clips there. Be careful with your O-rings. There's a rubber seal on top of there on the pump. Um, you can pull it off and put it in your box, or you can just keep it there, make sure you don't lose it. That's for that swivel nut connection. Put it in this box here. There's one more clip behind here that holds the pump on. Let's see if we can get that on the camera. That stainless steel tab there. I'm going to pull that off. Try not to lose it back in the bottom. That's holding the pump onto the piping assembly, so now everything should be disconnected. Need to pull this out. There's a screw on the bottom here. I need to just need to take that screw out that's holding the bottom of the pump body. And then once that's out, everything should be disconnected. Try not to lose that screw. Navian is famous for giving you screws that are like literally like a half an inch long or less there we go so I should be able to pull the pump out now there we go a little bit of water in the bottom of the cabinet there's no avoiding that I've got a drain hose on but there's nothing you can do so set this aside now I can get to the three-way valve just have to disconnect that stainless steel tube there that 90 and unscrew it from the bottom disconnect at the brass union that I've got piped in on those isolation valves. I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but these these spring clips, these stainless clips, you can actually, you don't need any tools to take these off. Let's see if I can get the phone to focus a little bit one-handed. You just basically got to spread them apart and push them a little bit. Pull them off like that, as you can see. They're just making a connection between a flange and that rubber washer o-ring setup so pretty much the whole thing's built this way there we go take this 90 tube out there might be some more water saving the world here with these threads i don't over tighten them for the simple fact that I want to take stuff back apart. Pull that out of the way. And that's okay, so I removed the screws that go up through the bottom of the cabinet. As you can see on that flange. Hopefully it'll focus here. I guess it won't. So, there you go. You can see the screw hole in that flange. Now I just need to remove this stainless steel clip. So I'll just grab my pliers here. 
clip straight out. That clip is holding that valve together on there. And I should be able to angle this off of here. It's probably a two-handed job, so I'm gonna set my phone down. Okay, so I've unpackaged the new valve, and you can see I discon I unscrewed the brass adapter that goes on the bottom. Uh, that's that thing right there in the back on the bottom there. Uh, that's a O-ring, silicone O-ring that they're gonna send with the new valve. You want to replace that valve there or that o-ring and then also the o-ring sorry there's like no room in here i'm going to replace this o-ring here on the brass piece and that o-ring there they're going to send those both they're not identical then you're also going to replace the o-ring connection on top on the front on the pipe that goes on the front so i'll get this snugged up and get refastened in and continue on Okay, we've got the new valve in place. It's screwed into the flange. The stainless steel clip is on, holding it in place. You can, as you can see, the wiring harness here. Here's the two screws that hold on this brass 90. You can see it's flanged. That's the new O-ring on there. And that goes in the front of the valve, just like so. Two screws there. And then you've got that stainless steel 90 that goes to the flat plate heat exchanger out of the top of the three-way valve. Okay, so there's that stainless steel 90 tube that goes to the flat plate heat exchanger out of the top of the three-way valve. Put the new O-rings on it. Got clips to hold it in place. Just pay attention, everything's, those little black retainer rings are on in place. That's what helps hold that clip there. And then now it's just reverse direction of where I started. So I'm going to put the circ pump back in. It's screwed. There's a screw at the bottom of the cabinet for it. It mates up to this black valve here. And then um, wiring harness, of course. Reinstall the PCB, the control panel, fire it up, uh, check for leaks, and Bob's your uncle. That's it on the three way valve. Replacement for a Navian NCB, that's the Navian Combi Boiler, and this is a 240 model, but that doesn't matter, they all have that three-way valve. Uh, as you can see, it's rather involved, but nothing you can't take care of with just a few simple tools. Okay, just got the board back in, control, put this power switch here. Of course, now it's going through its uh, free purge, all that kind of crap. Let's check it out, all the settings, and we should be ready to go. Successful replacement of the three-way valve there and hope this was helpful